Hi, I'm Benji of Syncores IT Solutions, and we are here in a beautiful property in Tagaytay where there's a beautiful view of the Taal Lake. My only problem with this place is that it has bad internet. Currently, it has a 4G LTE modem paired with a Gomo SIM, which is good for browsing but bad for streaming even for just one user. Add more users and browsing becomes lag and streaming becomes impossible. With online meetings, even for just one person, don't even think about it. There are two available internet providers in this building, but we think they do not give value for our money. Luckily, Starlink is now available in the Philippines, and we're about to put it to the test. Syncores IT Solutions As of this writing, you can get the hardware at a hefty discount from 30,000 pesos down to 20,000 pesos. While the monthly service fee is still at 2,700 pesos a month. It says on the website that this promo will only last until August 31, 2023. Ordering through the Starlink website is straightforward. Log in your address, key in your personal details, credit card information, and after a successful transaction, you'll get a confirmation email with tracking details. We ordered ours August 23, 2023, and it was delivered to us after three days. Out of the box from Starlink. You get a stand. This is the dish. With the cord built in. Let's see later if we can remove this. The modem router. Power cord. And some documentation. Regarding the dish, we found out we can definitely remove it. To recap, you get a Starlink dish with stand, a modem router, a power cord, and a long proprietary cable. And now, let's install this. I made the mistake of trying to flatten this dish on a previous installation. Luckily, it did not break. Do not flatten this dish. It's a robotic arm. So there we have it. This thing is easy to install and can be installed by just one person. So long as you don't have to mount the dish to the wall or on the roof. And you can set it up with your phone. Setup is easy via the Starlink app. But if you are impatient like me, it can be very overwhelming because the devices lack visual feedback like indicator LED lights, except for a power LED located at the bottom of the router. You will not easily know if it is turned on or working or whatnot. Initial setup can last 10 minutes to 1 hour. 
This is because the boot up sequence can last for 5 minutes if you're lucky and 30 minutes if you are in a highly obstructed area like this. However, if you have access to high speed fiber broadband from the big telcos, fiber is still better and more economically practical. Internet connectivity with Starlink is good considering you can deploy it to remote areas so long as you don't have obstructions and you have access to electricity. Response time or ping time, which for me is a far more important metric than Mbps, is not as good as fibers, which can be less than a millisecond to 4 milliseconds. Starlink's ping time is 25 to 45 milliseconds. However, in my personal experience, websites are snappy enough, even with a high ping time. I haven't tried gaming with Starlink internet yet. This is where ping time is crucial. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Hit the comments to tell us why. Your feedback is very important to us.